Hey everyone, this is Rapid and Red Whiskey Reviews. I'm Eric, and today on the bar for review, Knob Creek, Quarter Oak. As always here on Rapid and Red Reviews, I will give you nose taste finish review, chat a bit about the value, final thoughts and a score, and leave you with a malt musing. But first, just a little bit on what Knob Creek, Quarter Oak is all about. So uh, this is the latest release here in 2019 um, from Knob Creek, who is a line from the Jim Beam Distillery. Uh, this came out uh, late September, so it should be on the shelves pretty much everywhere in the United States. Um, it is a limited release, and what they say about it here is that uh, a portion of our bourbon is rested in quarter cast barrels and married with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. So uh, what I was able to find out, uh, digging a little bit more into this, was um, essentially, um, they took some of the regular Knob Creek bourbon and threw it into a quarter a quarter cask. And uh, if you're not familiar with what a quarter cask or quarter barrel is, um, they're really, really quite small. And so more of the spirit actually engages with the oak uh, from the cask. And so therefore it imparts some flavor essentially a little bit quicker. Um, and so what they did was they rested a whole bunch of their Kentucky straight bourbon into quarter oak cask for about four years and then married it with their regular bourbon. So I don't know how much, and it doesn't say how much is, this is actually quarter oak uh, from the quarter casks, but um, we know it's a blend of both that and their uh, regular straight bourbon. So this is bottled at 50% or 100 proof. Um, let's get into it. So for those of you um, who have, are followed the Knob Creek line, um, they've been doing a, a couple pretty good um, of these different limited releases. Last year they did the uh, a cast strength rye and a double barreled rye, both were uh, pretty tasty. So, All right. So there's the color you're getting on this, pretty dark. Um, there is no age statement on this. Um, their regular bourbon used to be nine years, but they took the age statement off it. But you can tell here and expect it to be pretty dark uh, from being in those uh, quarter, quarter cast quarter barrels. So. There you go. All right, let's get into it. So on the nose, not surprising, uh, a heavy barrel char, but it's sweet. So you're definitely getting fresh barrel on this. A lot of oak, a lot of wood. Also, some caramel, mm, slight vanilla. Butterscotch, big time on the butterscotch here. So you're just getting a really sweet, oaky bourbon. Mm. Really nice on the nose. Inviting. Okay, let's give it a taste. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Wow, right away. It delivers heavy kind of oak, but it's not tannic. It's not that, it's not like it's overpowering. It's not too drying. It's just a nice spicy oak and then sweet vanilla, a little bit of an apple, caramel, again, butterscotch. Mm. Really, really tasty. Um, it hangs around for quite a bit too. The finish is kind of warming, creamy, sweet, sweet vanilla, light caramel, a little salty almost. And again, even in the finish, the oak, that oak there is there, so you're getting a bit of spiciness, a little bit drying, but it's not over overly drying or overly tannic, which is, I guess, one of the things I would have been a little concerned about purchasing this, but medium medium on the finish. Uh, this is good. All right, let's put a little water on this one. This is at 50%, so this should take water pretty good. Wow, so with the addition of water, the nose really, really quiets down. That spicy, fresh oak is gone a bit on the nose. It's diminished quite a bit. And in its place, 
that's a little bit there, but in its place, you're getting kind of a cocoa, caramel, vanilla, again, a little bit of that fresh fruit. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. So water definitely tames this down, but not, not necessarily in a bad way. Taste on this again is just delicious, creamy, chocolate, little bit of spice, vanilla, Mm. Yeah, that fruit note is still there, but it's in the back. It's, it's kind of, you're getting a little more of a raisin now with the addition of water. But that oak spice takes a quite a bit back. I think this is actually a little bit better neat for my taste, um, but I can totally see this standing up really well on ice if that's how you take your bourbon. This is solid. So here's another look. Uh, it's the classic Knob Creek bottle. Um, it does have their new label, which they kind of started rolling out last year. Um, does have this little uh, button insignia on here like a lot of their limited releases do. Claremont, Kentucky. Yeah, not a whole lot of information about it. Um, but there you go. Okay. All right. So value. So this is, here's something that's interesting about this. Um, right around, this is around 45 to $55. And, you know, the real question here is the single barrel Knob Creek, single barrel reserve runs right around the same price. That's at 120 proof or 60 ABV, age minimum nine years. And if you get a store pick version, you can get them up to age 15 years. So um, comparing it to that, I think, I think this is still, um, and this is still a good value. This one's unique. Um, this one doesn't have quite as much uh, of that peanut flavor that you get out of the Knob Creek single barrel. And instead, it's just, it's just opier. It's a little bit spicier even. So this is, this is unique enough that I would say at 45 to 55 bucks, it's a value pick. I would say I think it's, a good, it's good for your money, even at the NAS. Um, so yeah, final thoughts here. I really, I'm a big fan of Knob Creek stuff. I think that they've been They've been really releasing a lot of different um, good variations on their bourbon and rye over the last couple of years. And I think this quarter oak is, is, uh, is definitely one that, that stands up with the others. Um, it's a quality product. It's a good bourbon. I think for people who are really into Knob Creek, they'll like this. This really seems to add an aged that otherwise uh, you wouldn't get on their regular bourbon. Um, it rounds off some of the edges of their, of their standard uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and gives you a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of a unique flavor so um, my final score on the Knob Creek quarter oak I am going to give this a four out of five which is I recommend buying a bottle um, this should be on shelves pretty much across the United States by now this is uh, November of 2019 so I'm just in time for fall and this has been out for about a month so grab yourself a bottle of this Knob Creek uh, quarter oak and uh, enjoy it all right, y'all. So there is your review, and I will catch you next time here on Rabbit and Red Reviews. Send you on to your malt musing. Cheers, everyone.